Hi, welcome back to another Princess Connect video. My name is Lace and today is the first day of the clan battle beta. I hope y'all are hyped because this is going to be super lit. I'm going to be talking about the kind of preparation that my clan and I have done, how we're approaching this and like what we've been doing in the last few hours since it has actually launched. Keep in mind that we're like kind of competitive and we're aiming for top 50. We're also like soft launch players. So for some of you, this might be a little bit too much for you, but like at least, you know, you can see what's going on for, <laughs> I don't know, entertainment, huh? So the bosses we actually got are like these guys here like and i believe that for clan battle beta each time we finish the circuit so you know like you kill boss one through the final boss and then you would start again these bosses for clan battle beta i think they actually don't successively get stronger which is pretty cool because that's one less mechanic that you need to think about when you're actually like organizing your attacks and stuff like you know it's going to take some time for us to all get used to this now also these guys are actually like really really tanky six million hp like that's already a lot like each of my attacks are only doing like five to six to eight percent like of their God, total HP. But before we get into that, let me just start with like a final check. You guys probably know like all of these things, but it's pretty easy to forget because uh, I did. If you're running out of EXP parts, remember to buy them from both like the bonus shop and the normal shop, like all these guys. Like I think uh, especially at the higher levels, like we're starting to be a little bit starved. Me personally, I'm doing okay. Like, you know, I buy them out. It resets like uh, every so often, like a couple of times a day, actually. But even if you're not running out of EXP parts, like consider buying them anyway. Do not forget about the bonus bonus mana actually in the support settings so look at this over here like two days 149k mana 139k mana like i know at higher levels it doesn't mean that much but like every little bit counts clanmates you know they're scrounging everywhere for like that little bit of extra exp or that bit of mana remember that if you end support you can do it without any repercussions so you can just do it and then you can just uh, reassign it if you did power level like some of your characters then like don't forget to bond level them because like i did this with like tamaki mitsuki kaori instantly r7 max refined kaori and mitsuki I took Tamaki to three and I forgot all about their freaking bond levels. Guys, bond levels are massive. Like, you know, if I just have, oh, whoops. <laughs> like if I have a quick look at Jun's one, like, you know, look at this one, it's plus 600, plus six, plus four. It all really adds up. Now let's get into the clan battle itself. So you can actually use the trial run function. So if you click into a boss, you can actually look, you can select the trial run and then you can start it and you can, you know, do everything that you would be doing. In addition to that, you can actually also take the support unit without costing mana yet. And the best thing about all of this is that you can actually trial run all of them even if you're not up to it for the boss itself try to time your ubs against like the two times defense down so like for example here like makoto and mitsuki they both defense down so then like if you could like use your ub up that like kari hit him but like to be honest i'm mainly looking at you like suzuna uses it's going to be very very important for you guys especially if you really can't get the ubs down consider trying on auto like i know like it sounds really really bad and like especially for a competitive clan we shouldn't be using auto but to be honest like there are a lot of mistakes that you could actually make such as like cancelling skills like that heroic howl that like makoto does i actually cancelled it like a couple of times in my runs so yeah give auto a shot it's actually pretty damn good so if you didn't actually plan for it you'll probably have to like refresh to be able to spend the 900 required stamina to get all of the three clan battle attack tokens so if you guys remember it costs 300 stamina that you spend on literally anything and you will be able to get the three attack tokens okay so let's actually get into some new stuff so have a look at the spreadsheet real quick like so i did this like before the clan battle actually opened and the goal of it was essentially to like measure out the power of my clan right and if i could like you know kind of find the distribution and like see like where my clan members are at i could actually plan out like which members should attack what etc like stuff like that so what i did was i actually got all of my clan members to drop like their proposed clan battle teams into the discord and i went through all of these like one by one right so looking at the comp that they've actually built and rating them from one to four if we jump back into the spreadsheet so like you know you can see the rating one there's seven of them rating two there's 11 of them so like rating one what this means is like they're the real big guns of the group so i expected them to like you know do like real big big damage rating two is kind of like quite good like above average kind of thing three was kind of satisfactory it's within expectations it's like for clan battle focused soft launch players i was like this is where you should be and four was like you know i kind of need to pay attention to these guys i plotted them out and this is kind of like the power distribution that i had as you can tell like a higher total power does not necessarily mean that they're going to be performing better in clan battle it could have built like a whole bunch of units and like you know had their resources spread out so far that like you know they couldn't actually focus in on the clan battle units for the most part like everyone was kind of you would you know within reason like you know everyone was pretty prepared i was expecting maybe like 10 percent were going to underperform like you know i'm predicting at 10 percent you know they're not they're not going to do that well which is not bad you know i'll just kick them off though you know so what the plan was was that i could actually distribute the rating one and the rating two players to attack the last few bosses and the rating three and rating 
four players to attack the first few bosses. Also, if we arrived at like a boss with like only 4% HP left, I would get probably one of the rating three or four players to attack them. But this actually matters a lot less because we have the time carry over mechanic. So what that means is that if you kill a boss, you can actually go on to attack the next one as well with some of the remaining time. Okay, so with that in mind, clan battle opened up and we weren't actually like, you know, one shotting anything like, so we were actually like only doing six to eight percent of the boss's HP every time we hit it. It doesn't really change much. It just means that they're more like meat shields. However, because it actually opened up, we could actually do some more actual physical testing, right? So I kind of set up the formula for testing. I was like, guys, go test your teams and then come back with the damage reports for all of them and then sum up the total damage. I could then actually compare these screenshots to like my predictions in the original spreadsheet. The original spreadsheet, like it, it honestly didn't have too much utility anymore because like it was all theoretical. And now we have like actual practical empirical data. So I guess like, you know, when I did compare the results, I was kind of right, but the difference was like just a lot less drastic than I thought it would be. So generally like pretty much everyone was kind of actually doing the same damage. Granted, a lot of us were running like very similar comps because you know, there is some level of optimization. I don't know, believe it or not guys. But at the end of the day, it was actually remarkably similar. We did some initial testing. I found that on average, we were hitting about like 1.2 million total damage each. Obviously everyone attacked the same boss so that I could actually compare it to the same baseline. And the variance was actually shockingly little. So the weakest guys who I called like rating four or whatever, they were hitting about like 1.1 mil where the weakest was that maybe like 1.07 mil. The strongest guys were actually only hitting 1.4 mil, which is actually really, really surprising. I guess in the grand scheme of things, that's actually not that much variance. And like, I was trying to like compare the damage like relative to each other, because again, I want the stronger ones attacking later and the weaker ones attacking earlier. So now that the guys have like recorded all of their attack data and like all the attack teams in the new channel, like I decided to give everyone like 12 hours from reset to optimize their teams because most of the clan is quite new to like clan battles. You know, nobody really played like JP. So what this means is that we'll start attacking from 12 hours until it closes. It doesn't mean that everyone like, you know, has to be there on the dot. It just means that we will attack it over the last 12 hours. I really suggest that you guys take the time to actually optimize your teams because like, you know, there's actually a lot of things that you can do. There actually is a lot of creativity. Yeah, believe it or not, well, at least a lot to learn. That being said, the last task that I gave them was to make sure that they can actually tank all of the different bosses. Because like a lot of our damage testing was done on the first boss, like, you know, it was it was relatively easy, right? However, for example, like, you know, if like their tank falls because like, you know, boss four, the big bad red wolf guy, like, you know, he does big physical damage, right? Maybe we got to reconsider our comps then because like maybe, you know, they decided to originally use a uh, Kuka and it just wasn't going to fly anymore. Or maybe their frontlining DPS like Makoto or um, Jita or Kaori, maybe they just aren't tanking enough to like you know take that large physical damage it's just things like that right and so that's kind of where we're at now honestly it's been like really really fun so far a little bit hardcore i wish i could be more hardcore but i'm also focused on making this like kind of content for you guys it's also 3 a.m i'm so fried i'm sorry guys and so with that being said i think that's enough from me today i am just so drained honestly oh but i will never leave you guys without a secret message so how about the big bad red wolf you guys know what to do with it drop it down in the comments below i would really really appreciate it it tells me that you've actually made it to the end of the video making it to the end of the video just i, I just really appreciate that because i put a lot of time into these otherwise like subscribe comment you know the works thank you guys again so much i really hope you guys are having fun there's another five days left let's just go get it and that being said i will catch you guys in the next video so bye bye